what's more fun than sitting on a couch, perfect weather, with Netflix on, and with a cup of juice or tea, am I right? But not anymore, because pencils and markers are raining, and soon will books to write onto your head. Yes, my schools have started, and I realized that I needed a organizer. But how to get one in this lockdown? That is why Okidokis presents DIY quick and easy organizer to make your life organized. Also guys, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications and share our video. Also comment down below if you tried out our DIY. So let's get started. For the organizer, you won't be needing much, just simple stuff like tape, paper clip, etc, etc and you really don't need to worry okay guys no chaos so first item i'm taking is basically a writing pad if you want you can take a transparent one or you can paint it with a coat of acrylic paint or you can take a printed one i'm taking a printed beautiful writing pad so time for some magic writing pad please Whoop. so here's more writing pad with a mesmerizing scenery as a background and if you all notice guys there's a big logo of Yuba in my writing pad so I'll tell you how to remove it also you see that clutch over there you don't need to remove it that will act as a holder so now we are going to take tape so here I have tin cell tape and yellow color duct tape for dusting so let's keep our two types of tapes aside and get our green paper. So it's not necessary you gotta take green paper, you can take any other color paper or white paper. So now let's put it into small square pieces. Wow, my magic's working pretty well today. So here I have got my square pieces, pretty fun and fantastic pieces. And make sure they are kept safely so they don't fly away. So next step we'll be needing is sticky notes. Sticky notes. So basically I'm taking three types of sticky notes and my favorite one the is the rainbow colored one. It's so bright and so beautiful. And here we have this long one. And it's like a long sticky note booklet. And then we have the usual normal one, right guys? So let's keep these wait where's my favorite note he knows hey can i get oh it just came down and you know what guys it reminded me of jumanji comment down below if you saw jumanji both parts and in which app i saw it on prime video so now it's time for paper clip so here i'm taking this paper holder basically and i'll tell you it's used there so next up we'll be needing is one thing that everybody has at home sharp and dangerous yes we guessed it correct we are talking about scissors ouch oh that hurts bad guys if you don't want to get hurt like me then make sure you take half of adults if you don't know how to use scissors because it's pretty dangerous anyways next item we need is glue here's my super glue to the rescue and guys if you don't have glue or fevisic you can use fevico as well so now let's get started now what we will be needing is a wall of any color decorative or shimmery tape and two types of paper clip so here i'm taking this beautiful wall and two types of paper clip is basically steel and a colored one if you don't have a colored one you can color it to acrylic paint or you know nail polish i forgot to tell you about paper i'm really sorry guys so now let's get started with our decorating of organizer so here you're gonna take the writing pad and first up what we are going to do is take our yellow duct tape thing so now here so now here i'm taking my tape and i'm going to take five pieces of it and what i have to do is when i cut them i'm going to take one end to the other end and i'm going to stick it properly if you don't understand it you can see how i do it in the further video so let's cut it so here i'm going to take my dangerous scissors and cut the tape so here first i'll take three pieces of tape out of them 
two should be long and I mean one should be long and two should be medium sized. Right guys? So now let's get our sticky notes. And I hope you saw how I meant to uh, you know uh, fold our tape. So let's to get our sticky note. So here I'm taking first up is my normal sticky note and poor thing it stuck so bad. But don't worry, I got it out. So now let's take one of the medium sized tape, stick it at the back of the sticky note and stick this sticky note to the writing pad and to this you can hide the UA sign if you want. But if you don't want, you don't need to do that. Make sure you press it properly because we don't want this thing to get on the important movement. Right guys? Now it's time for my favorite Jumanji. Stick it out. So here I'm taking this another piece of medium sized tape and I'll be sticking it to the other end. And I'm leaving a generous amount of space in the middle because I want my DIY organizer to be neat and beautiful, right? So let's stick it properly and it's time for the big broad lengthy sticky note booklet to come. And this is why one of our tape was a big so that it the uh, Sticks are big booklet, lengthy booklet, sticky note evenly. So now let's stick it and make sure you leave space. We don't want a hot mess and hodgepodge, right? So now make sure you stick properly, secure it properly, or fasten it properly, and it's time for a white paper. Or if you don't have a bigger paper, then you can go with any color paper. Also, if you want, you can decorate your white paper. So it's time for it. Whoa, what magic, that's great. So what we have to do with our white paper is basically, you gotta, uh, you know, divide it into two equal halves and then stick it with tape. Why we are using tape for everything is basically, when your notepad or sticky notes get over, you can remove it with tape and it won't be so difficult than removing it with a fabricol or from glue gun or fairy set right so here i'm going to fold you and i'll show you what i meant so here's what i've done i took a small uh lengthy tape the small uh, that the thin cell tape and i stuck it at the uh, top part of the paper but now i right here i'm going to use my notepad so here's my notepad and if you see it's pretty boring and dull that's why I'm taking this bright beautiful antique picture I'm gonna stick it with glue so here's my superman into action also guys I'm telling you again and again make sure you press it pretty well and if you want you can keep heavy books or something heavy over it overnight then your DIY organizer will be pretty strong right because we don't want things to fall apart that would be pretty weird right so now let's stick our notepad and get onto our paper holder part so now what I'm going to do is uh, take this notepad and flip it over and stick it properly so that it is firm and steady here I am and I'm putting four Perfect alignment, proper space, and yeah, I'm done with my notepad stuck. So now let's get our paper holder. So now with the paper holder, you also need tinsel tape. So what you gotta do is take your tinsel tape, then take it, flip it over, and this is how you're going to tape this thing and also guys if you don't have cello tape or if you don't want to go with this matter you can use double tape if you have so now this is what I'm going to do to make it more strong and firm I'm going to fasten little more tape maybe two more pieces all right so now we need our green papers into the scene so Let's take example, you have an important meeting or real last session on 10.30 a.m. And you want to remember it, guys. So then what you got to do is just take this paper, put it over there and write. Right? But where to keep this excess paper? So let's make the pocket. 
for that, I have took this white color paper and again I'm going to use thin cell tape. Here, if you want, you can use glue as well, but I think cell tape is pretty much better. So let's use it. And here I'm going to stick the bottoms and I will be ready with the, my organizer. And the only thing will be left is the, the cute, beautiful paper clips. So I'm sticking it, pressing it properly, and it's time to keep our green papers inside. So look how beautiful our organizer turned out, but it's not yet over, guys. Paper clips are still left. So now let's get on to the paper clips. Look how beautiful these are. And now first we are going to show you, I mean, I'm going to show you how it looks on paper. When you put it on paper, how beautiful it looks. So here I had this left out green paper. And look, this heart shape, the easiest one looks so pretty. And this arrow one, it's pretty impressive. And my second favorite is this one because it also acts as a bookmark and it's pretty impressive and fluffy and soft. So first we are going to start with the easiest one, the heart shaped paper clip. So for the heart shaped paper clip, you can take any color paper clip or you can paint it with acrylic paint or you can go with nail polish. Now what you're going to do is bend it and make it a heart shape and I'm ready with my pink colored heart shaped paper clip. And I'm going to press it and look how cute it looks. And I also made this green colored one. Let's have a look. Wow, these two are amazing. And I know this is going to be a little difficult but you can rewind the video and see it again and later you'll get a hang of it. Let me show you once again last time with this blue color. First, what you gotta do is show some of your powers and make a heart shape, right? And then what you gotta do is take that little thing, as you can see in the video, that part of paper clip behind and yeah, you're ready with your heart shape paper clip. Let's see how it looks. So here I'm taking it and I feel like my heart's a little broad, so I'm gonna press it and show my power a little bit. Look, these random heart shapes look so beautiful and nice. I'll surely make with white and yellow color. So now let's get on to my second favorite, this wool colored one. In, I think instead of wasting and cutting the wool, I'll undo my paper clip or unwrap my paper clip and I'll show you. So basically what you're going to do, the main principle is neatness. You gotta trim properly, right? So here what I've done is I've wrapped uh, a piece of wool or this thread again and again. If you want a single wrap, you just need to make a knot and cut off the excess or you can include that with the other, you know, other threads which are hanging down. So now what I've done, I've cut it in random pieces then uh, I trimmed them and what you gotta do now is just take your paper clip, pass through this thing and make it equal. And if you think still they're a little unequal from the ends, you can trim it for sure. But don't trim to the end, you want a little to hang, right? So now here I'm going to take is, uh, I'm going to wrap it around and the main important principle rule of this thing is how you tie the knot. Uh, if you know how to do it, that's going to be simple, but people who don't know, it's a little tricky, but it's all fine. So first I'll wrap it all around as you can see in the video. And make sure you're wrapping it tightly and uh, it should not come off. So when you think you're almost at the end and a little amount is left, you gotta make a loose loop over here as you can see and then you got to take this thing through that loop and pull over and voila our knot is ready look it was so easy it was and it's tight enough and beautiful paper clips already so now it's time for the shimmery tape to come so let's make the shimmy tape next. So for the shimmy tape, you don't need some stuff much more, just scissors and tape. So 
So I'm taking this orange color tape. If you have any other color, then you can go with that. It's all up to you. So let's get started. So here I'm taking this another piece of paper clip and what I'm going to do is peel off a little generous amount of tape actually. Oopsies, my tape got over but don't worry I'll apply glue, my super glue to the white part and so I have done it. So what you gotta do is take that paper clip and then pass it through and align it properly and make sure everything is equal. You don't need to make it so long, you can trim it according to your length. So here I am pressing it properly so it doesn't come off and ready. It's almost ready. Now what you need to do is just trim it and give it a V shape. So here I'm going to trim it a little more or maybe a little more maybe. Okay so here I'm going to cut just a little more. And now what you gotta do is basically from one end of the tape make a cut to the center and then from another end of this tape another cut and join it together and what is left is a small triangle that you have to pull off. So basically this was the simple beautiful and easy paper clip and our paper clips are totally ready voila our beautiful diy quick and easy organizer is ready and make sure you hit this like button so that we can know you like such diys and subscribe also share the video so that other people can see how to make such easy organizer and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we upload next thanks for watching everybody stay safe stay cute and also maintain the lockdown and follow the lockdown thanks for watching bye